to obtain the transfer function y over r, divide the line function by 1 plus the line function. The line function is the multiplication of this big transfer function in 1 over s, divided by 1 plus the same function. We can now find a common denominator for this part of the expression. The common denominator here is s times s squared plus 28s plus 432. This times 1 is itself plus the last term Okay, now we can factor out some of the terms in the denominator. If you factor s, we have 432 plus 5440 tau plus 4, 5440, and this is the closed loop transfer function. Now that we have the closed loop transfer function, we can analyze the influence of tau in the time response using MATLAB. The first step is to define the transfer function t. To do that, we are going to first define s as a transfer function and then create a polynomial t that is a function of s, so that t is also a transfer function. s is given through the standard definition of a transfer function in MATLAB, that is tf. And in these brackets here, we are going to give the coefficients of the numerator and the denominator. If we want our transfer function to simply be s, then the numerator will take 1 and 0. That is, the coefficient of s is 1, and the coefficient of s to the power of 0 is 0. And you guess the denominator here is simply 1. If you run this line of code, we see that we created a continuous time transfer function that is simply s. We can now define t as a function of s, but first we need to define a variable tau. The first value of tau is 0 and t becomes simply a function or a polynomial of s. If you run this part of the code, we see that we created a transfer function here. We can now analyze the properties of t using different MATLAB commands. The first one is something called step info. Let's see what we get. Step info t gives us the, st the time response properties of t when subjected to a step input. And we see here the rise time, settling time, overshoot, peak and peak time. Very useful information about the function t. The second one is called damp t. This function doesn't specify any input. Those are the properties defined in t. And you can see here the location of poles, the damping ratio of each pole, the natural frequency of each pole, and the time constant. The last one gives us a visual representation of where the poles and zeros are located. pz stands for pole and zero map, so pz map gives us this graph now, where you can see all the poles and the zero of the transfer function. To visualize the actual step response of the system, simply type step t and run the code. And you see now that this is the time response of the system when subjected to a step input. If you're interested in the impulse response, then simply type impulse t. This was obtained for tau equal to zero. If we now want to evaluate different values of tau, we have to redefine our transfer function and plot the results again. So here we can first write hold on. This will allow us to overlay more results in the same graph. And you can now redefine tau with our second value. But if you redefine tau, remember that you have to redefine the function as well. So tau here is 0 0.05. And let's call our second function here t1. And you have to run this again to update the value of tau. Now we can do step and hold on for t1 and run the code. We see now that we have the additional red line. The overshoot and the oscillations now are decreasing as we are increasing tau. Now let's move on to our next value of tau. We can simply redefine the whole function here. Let's call that t2. and run the code again. And now we have the yellow curve, which represents the, the step response when tau equals to 0 0.1. And you can continue this process on and on. Now let's see where this poles moved 
as we increase the value of tau. You can write PZ map, and now let's look at T2. You see now that we see an additional zero here, and we have two complex poles and one real pole. So these are very handy commands that you can keep in mind when interested in the properties of a transfer function or specifically in their time response.